Hey guys, it's Thomas4812 Man Fan here. Just make a little update video. And as you know, today is Wednesday. It is officially one day before the My Little Pony Tell Your Tale YouTube series officially releases. Here in the US at least. I've seen it released in uh, North Korea, I think, and it's also released in Italian, I think. So yeah, but it'll be releasing here in the US tomorrow. And now I just want to kind of give my thoughts coming into this. So we we knew about this series like a couple like a months ago, a couple of months ago. And you know, my reaction to this uh, teaser poster that that we're that you're seeing right now, I thought it was interesting. I mean, I've already and quite boggling because I already got really used to the CGI style that they released in the movie and now we got a whole nother animation style in 2d so i was not expecting that so but thankfully this is not the actual series that's going to be on netflix and it will be in cgi animation like the movie but probably a lower budget but it's all right so let me address like some of the things coming into this so the voice cast is not going to be the same the voice cast that we had in the movie, like Vanessa Hudgens, Kamiko Glenn, James Hardison, Sophia Carson, they're all gone. They're all gone. And quite a shame, too, because I really wanted them to stay. They, they all did such a great job voicing the characters, and I'm definitely going to miss them. And my reaction to the new voices, like I said in my trailer review for this series, I think they're fine. I mean... I mean, like, Sunny, Izzy, Pip, Zip, all their voices are fine. The only voice that I really am just not a fan of is Hitch. Because, uh, I don't know, his his voice just doesn't feel the same. James Hardison did a way better job. He he's did a way better job. Of course, like, some of the designs, I think, are, are pretty off. I mean... Like, for one thing, the animation for, like, a 2D animated YouTube series, pretty good. I probably would say the animation is is definitely pretty good for a 2D animated series on YouTube. But there is one thing that I really don't like. I'm really not a fan of the, of the bean-styled smiles. I'm just really not. That is one thing I'm not a fan of, but... You know, from what I've seen, there's probably some things that can make me overlook it. So, I don't think it'll be that much of a problem for me. But, we'll see. And, we do get some, like, uh, new pictures today. And, I will go over those. So, uh, yeah, before I close things out and get to the conclusion, here are some of the, of the new pics from the show that I just uh, found on YouTube. And, I'm gonna share them with you right now so uh here we go so here's our first out of three picks this one is basically just pip holding her phone taking a selfie and but behind her we can see a lot of pictures a lot of like framed pictures of her like you can see there are some in different colors and then you just got like many different pictures of her so yeah probably just admiring herself and everything so you know and all of that, so uh, nothing really much to say there. This next one, however, I do have a little bit to say about. So, this is basically the picture that we kind of like saw from the movie, but in now in the 2D style. This is basically a picture of a young Sunny Star Scout with her father, Argyle, which, of course, from what we know, died it, it, somewhere in between. Somewhere in between. Because remember, in the movie, there was a bit of a time skip. Like, we kind of skipped a bit of the time a bit. Like, we went from, like, Sunny being, like, a little filly, and then we just kind of, like, have a huge time jump just like that. And then she's just a full, like, grown, ad grown adult or something. So, you know, it, I gotta say, this picture, it's pretty cute. I like it. And you can also see, like, the, like, the cracks from the glass, of course. That was from the... That was, of course, from the destruction of the lighthouse. Spoilers. But, uh, like... Like, yeah, that was basically when Sprout basically destroyed the, the lighthouse and... 
The picture, of course, broke, but they like put it back together. So, yep, I gotta say, it's pretty adorable. I like it. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Maybe we might get more exclamation on what happened to Sonny's father. Cause we really never got like an exclamation on like how he died or something. Like, like I kind of want to know, how did this all happen? Like, there's so many questions that need to be answered in the upcoming, in the upcoming Netflix series. Like, there are so many questions that need to be answered. Like, how did like the ponies, like all, how did all different pony races like turn against each other? Like, how did the magic of Equestria fade? Like, how did everything happen? But yeah, hopefully we do get some exclamation on that. But this picture, I like it, adorable. And this is the final picture that we have. So I don't know exactly what location this is, but in this picture, there's quite a bit going on. Like, okay, so we got Pip here with her phone with a kind of uh, concerned look on her face. We got Zip on the ground with some sort of like light tangled in lights or something. We've got Izzy with kind of like some sort of surprised face. And then we got Hitch like has his teeth like on like a thing of wood or something. I don't know what's going on there. They also have like some sort of like bathtub, I think, where you got like a crab, and then you also got and then you also got Cloud Puff right there too. So this is like our first look at Cloud Puff in the 2D animated form. And yeah, you can also see there. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty interesting pick right here. Very very interesting. So, uh, yeah, that's all I can say about it. Interesting. We'll just have to wait and see what goes down here when that episode comes out. <sighs> Boy. So, guys, there we go. Those are everything that we need to know going into this new series. So, for the My Little Pony Tell Your Tale series, what do I think coming into this? What is my conclusion on this? It's interesting. All I'm gonna say is that it's interesting. I really don't know how to feel about it just yet. I'm gonna wait until we actually get the episode tomorrow and then I'll give my opinion on it to see if it's good or not. But from how, what it looks like so far, it does look promising. It does look promising. It, it looks cute. I think it, it might work. And of course, this is not the this is not the official series. So you know what? It really like doesn't like kind of matter because this isn't like the official series. So So yeah, that's going to be on Netflix. That and it's going to be in and it's going to be like 3D. That's when the stories are going to start getting like a lot more serious. That's when they're going to like start like like having like actual plots to them. This is just a fun little mini series. Like Hasbro said, it's for comedic for comedic laughs. So if it's success if it if it's successful in that part, then I call the series a success because that's what it's for. It's meant to just be a little, a short, sweet little little comedic story. That's basically what it's supposed to be. So, uh, yeah, that, those are my thoughts going into My Little Pony Tell Your Tale. And so the first episode, and, uh, yeah, so the first episode releases tomorrow. I don't know what exact time it's going to be, but we'll see. Maybe it might just drop when I wake up or something. I don't really know. I don't know how you, I don't know how your release schedule is, Hasbro. I don't know how your time release schedule works, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. So anyways, this, this is it. That is all I got to say. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll see you in my review of the first episode. And I will give my official opinion on the series. Until then, peace out.